We got a tough piece of work on our hands, guys. Oh, boy. Dill just can't help himself. Poor fool boy always feels he has to step in and help the needy. It's a bad habit. That's what it is. It's like he doesn't even remember that by rights he should be with me and not that no good charity case lavender. After all, I can't rightly allow my, my boy to marry a girl whose mind is elsewhere now, can I? And once they're wed, I can finally cancel them debts or oh, her poor father's. Seems to me that's the only way to get this little mess unraveled. Jesus Christ. Everything's a fucking mess. Hold on. Nope, just three gold. I know there's a main metal here somewhere. Give me a few minutes. I will fucking find it. Where are you? Has to be a main metal somewhere around here. Bullshit if there's not a fucking main metal here. Bullshit. There's fucking... There's a fucking mini mill around here somewhere. No, there is. Game, stop playing me for a fool. Checking this well. Not this well either. Fuck you. Probably have nothing new here. But I'm gonna check. <sighs> Seriously? Really? So when I said there was nothing, there's the Edge of Boomerang. I'll explain. Edge of Boomerang is a better weapon than the regular Boomerang. And it's pretty fucking good. Only issue being, I don't have enough gold. Which means I have to go back and get gold. The whole point was me depositing gold so I didn't waste gold. For fuck's sakes. There's a book right there. The bar's in the back. This is where we're supposed to be going. Wafers clothes. I can, I can just sell that for gold at this point. That girl is nowhere to be found. What the fuck is she? Just trying to check around the place for mini metals or. Oh no, wait, I'm just let's go to the item shop for fuck's sake, Zach. Item shop. I never fucking learned. I was fucking right. I knew there was mini metal here. I'm glad for my superstition. See, I remember some things. Just not a lot of things. I knew there was a mini metal in this fucking town. And oh, dang it, all Lavender wouldn't even speak to me. She don't kick me out before I could say one word. Guess there ain't nothing for me to do but wait for her to start feeling better. Oh my god, you fucking moron. It's not much Lavender. But here's something to help you pay back your parents' loan. Stop it, I can't take money from you. 
Seriously, your father was good to me back when I was starting out. This is just my way of saying thanks. I know your parents saddled you with lots of debt. Can't be easy for you. You don't need to be fretting on my account. I'm going to marry Dale. Once I do that, I will... I won't need to worry about them loans no more. You're marrying Dill, Bardock's son? Congratulations. Then why don't you take this as an engagement gift and said? All the best, Lavender. Good luck. It sure is nice for folks to show such kindness when times are tough. And I feel awful, but it hurts. Every gift, every favor, it's like a dagger through my heart. I can't repay them. I can't repay none of them. And it kills me. It hurts so, so bad. I know exactly how she feels. If I was lavished with golden gifts, I would feel ob absolutely awful. Try, why are you making that face for? Poor Lavender. Her mom and dad had left her all on her own. So Lavender's parents saddled her with debt, did they? Can't imagine what it's like to be spend your whole life worrying about money. <laughs> it's modern day America. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, there she goes. Hear the birds chirping outside too. All right, let's sell. Now, of course, the big one's back. Hey, hey, toast. Yeah. Big cat's back. Just checking every place and all. Oh, I'm checking areas I already checked. Okay. Just making sure. All right, now I need to go and find Lavender. <sighs> don't fret, Lavender, honey. We don't we don't hold no grudge against you, child. It was Caraway's own choice to do what he did. You ain't got no reason to feel bad. But what if he never wakes up? Oh, but he will, child. He will. See, I done heard of a medicine that can cure just about any ailment known to man. We just need to get a hold of some, and Carowell will be fine and dandy. <laughs> Is the guy in the bed Carraway? I done heard the medicine cures all its ills on the other side of the mountains over yonder. If y'all fixing to be heading over eastward any time, would you mind picking up a little? I can't bear the thought of spending my twilight years just staring at my boy lying there. Come to think of it, I heard about a fella drinking o over there at the saloon who was visiting from the neck of the woods. He's here to buy herbs, or so they say. Maybe he'll be able to tell y'all a little more about where you'll find be able to find an old miracle cure. If folks are saying it's true... Y'all the ones who saved us all back when we was turned to stone. Well, I hate to ask another favor so soon, but would you mind awfully going to fetch that medicine they're saying to make him care away better? I go myself, but I ain't accustomed to traveling, and I don't know the first thing about medicine. Ah, uh, of course, us adventurers know what the fuck to do, because we're adventurers, and we know a lot of stuff, because we have to survive on our own. Of course. <sighs> Fucking pricks. Sir, hey, come on now, sir. Listen to me. You came all the way all over here from your hometown there to buy herbs, am I right? Now, n then how about you go buy some dang herbs instead of spending all your time whooping in or up and around here? Uh, this is me worst nightmare. It is this. I just popped over to buy some up for all the Palma's potions, you see. But then I turned around to go home and Flamin' Burmont's flame and disappeared. How the heck did that happen? 
Yeah, then these people wonder why I drink. Yep, we gotta go back to good old Pelma. On the mountains over yonder. We'll travel there next time. Later, guys. Check out my other stuff. Subscribe if you have not. If you don't want us to be subscribed, you can go right ahead. I don't care. And I'll catch you all later. All right. Peace. Remember, stay crazy.